Flying cars? A plant-based diet? Machines outsmarting people? These predictions seemed shocking at the time, but they've become part of a crazy new reality for all of us. Step back in time to find out how major developments in science were predicted by the most incredible minds in history. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 shocking scientific predictions coming true. 25. 3D Printing 3D printing is a fact of life these days, with people printing everything from food to firearms. I mean, my friend Vince made me this sweet little sea turtle, so... Anyway, it dates back to the beginning of the 1980s, which is probably earlier than you thought, right? But wait, the idea of 3D printing may go back even further, to 1964. Arthur C. Clarke, the man who wrote the classic sci-fi book and movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, talked about a replicating device in a 1960s documentary. He didn't call it a 3D printer, of course, but the outcome was the same. 24. Cloning Imagine living in a time before clones were a thing. The origin of the word cloning comes from the ancient Greek word for twig, so it's been around a long time. It was first used in the way we know today by plant expert Herbert J. Weber, then expanded upon by scientist J.B.S. Haldane. Cloning went from plant life to animal life, with the cloning of tadpoles and then Dolly the sheep in 1996. As for human clones, they are possible, with an embryo being produced in 2001. It's just too much of a scientific hot potato to be explored at the moment. 23. Flying Cars Sci-fi fans know about flying cars. They were first mentioned by authors such as Jules Verne in the early 20th century, and it didn't take too long for people to start trying to build the real deal. A flying car called the Model 11 Autoplane was shown to the public in 1917. Later on in 1949, the Taylor Aero Car wowed drivers, though only a handful were made. It's reported that we'll see people riding in these kinds of vehicles everywhere in the coming decades. Hopefully then, this idea will finally take off. 22. Drones Drones are buzzing around everywhere now, but they appeared in sci-fi movies and novels years ago. Long before the military sent out deadly drones to take out their targets, the author Frank Herbert included a flying weapon called the Hunter Seeker in his iconic book Dune from 1965. It went on to appear in the 2021 movie. 21. The Center of the Universe In the 16th century, a truly wild idea was suggested by the legendary astronomer Nicholas Copernicus. The Earth is not the center of the universe. His heliocentric model, thought to be based on writings from ancient Greece, would overtake the existing Ptolemaic system. He spent the first few decades of the 1500s working on his theories, which were hammered home a couple hundred years or so later by Galileo. 20. The Roots of Matter Empedocles is the ancient Greek philosopher who began trying to put the world in order back in the 5th century BCE. Dividing matter into the elements of fire, air, water, and earth was a godsend for people who wanted to make sense of things around them. And by the way, when I say godsend, I mean it literally. He named these roots after the mighty figures of Zeus, Hera, Hades, and Nestus. These must have seemed like incredible predictions at the time, but they formed the building blocks of the way we understand the physical world today. 19. Female Autonomy Women being independent isn't a shocking scientific prediction. But it sure raised a few eyebrows when the idea was suggested back in 1922. Of course, this prediction was made by a man, author W.L. George from England. He saw the female of the species breaking free from her male oppressors by the year 2022. Thankfully, it took a little less time than that. George covered feminist themes in his fiction, which was probably pretty eye-opening in the early 20th century. 18. Computers vs. People you can't have failed to notice that we're almost totally reliant on technology these days to live. One computer expert who sees the bigger picture is futurist Ray Kurzweil. He's talked a lot about how machine intelligence moves faster than human intelligence. But before you go start shouting Skynet, he also views this as a positive. Kurzweil states that humans and machines will become one, leading longer, more fulfilling lives. He's certainly right about computers being quicker, so let's just see what happens with the whole joining forces thing. 17. 300 million. Does going to Yale automatically make you a genius? Former university president Ezra Stiles helped prove this theory when he correctly predicted that the USA's population would hit 300 million in 1983. And if that doesn't sound too surprising, then uh, you should probably know about the year he made that prediction. Stiles said it a whole two centuries earlier in 1783. 16. iPads. Remember when the iPad was a whole new level of tech? 
We weren't really used to seeing tablet computers before its release in 2010, though they had been on the market since 1989. But if you go back to 1968 and the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, you'll see acclaimed director Stanley Kubrick showing audiences something that's an awful lot like the devices we have in our homes decades later. The image was so ahead of its time that it was even used during a copyright dispute between Apple and Samsung over the design of a tablet. 15. The Moon Landings Author Jules Verne wrote a sci-fi story called From the Earth to the Moon in 1865. We went to the lunar surface a century later, but what's shocking is how accurate Verne was when imagining what the trip would actually be like. He inadvertently predicted the location of the launch, Florida, and even the idea of zero gravity. Although, in, instead of Cape Canaveral, he wrote that the launch was from Tampa, my hometown. There's actually an official marker at Ballast Point Pier that explains why it's called Jules Verne Park, so if you're ever in Tampa, check it out. Oh, and if you see me, just be sure to say hello. Yeah, not Canadian. That's a call out to a comment section from a couple days ago. I'm not from Canada. What a weird comment. That guy was so insistent I'm Canadian. 14. The Greenhouse Effect Climate change was actually being talked about in 1917. Alexander Graham Bell was clearly worried about the impact of burning fuel on the planet's atmosphere, describing a greenhouse effect. Though, he wasn't the person who came up with that expression. Earlier in 1896, Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius mentioned how Earth might become a hothouse through atmospheric gas locking in heat. 13. Learning on the Internet The World Wide Web as we know it arrived in 1983, but who predicted it? Well, they don't come more on the money than Isaac Asimov. The prolific sci-fi author and academic saw what was coming down the line with machines and their ability to link up minds across the globe. A few years after the birth of the internet, Asimov highlighted how students could access connected libraries for their information. Though I'm not sure how he'd feel about Wikipedia. But you know what else is a shocking prediction? I predict that you will like, share, comment, and subscribe. But in all seriousness, it really does help the channel. There's a reason us YouTubers tell you that. Also, don't forget to check out our socials. 12. Calendar of Disaster the biologist and historian Peter Turchin believes that every 50 years, the U.S. falls into instability. It's part of a wider approach he calls Cleodynamics, Cleo being the ancient Greek history muse. Turchin applies a mathematical approach to history. And you know what? He might be onto something. 2020 was one heck of a year here in America. Go back half a century, and there's the polarized and dangerous atmosphere of the 70s. Go back from there, and shocking things were happening in the 20s. Is Peter Turchin right or just damn lucky? 11. No More Meat The father of the breakfast cereal was also responsible for meat-free meals. John Harvey Kellogg introduced an alternative to your steaks and chicken wings using soy, grains, and other ingredients. People probably thought Kellogg was a little nuts. And they'd be right because nuts were a major element. Enter Nuttose and Nuttoline, meat and dairy flavored substitutes that sound a lot like what you find in stores these days. 10. Transplants the first organ transplant happened in 1954, but the prediction of it was made way back in the 1660s. Robert Boyle, the chemist and philosopher who helped found the prestigious Royal Society, came up with a list containing 24 entries. Oh, just one short of being on list 25 there, Robert. One of which mentioned the use of transplantation as a medical procedure. 9. The Big Bang Wait, they predicted the Big Bang? That sounds weird, because surely there wasn't anyone around before the Big Bang to, you know, predict it. However, the concept of the Big Bang was certainly thought about in advance. The ancient Indian Hymn of Creation, or the Haranyagarbha Sukta of Rig Veda, features details of Haranyagarbha, the golden womb. Wombs are part of the birthing process, so naturally this lends itself to everything being released in one powerful event. 8. Earbuds you may pop your earbuds in every day, not realizing the science behind them, namely the science of acoustics. And at one point, they were an amazing sci-fi prediction. Author Ray Bradbury described a similar invention in 1953's Fahrenheit 451. These were seashell-shaped, predating the release of wireless earbuds in 2015. 7. The Real Minority Report Think the Tom Cruise movie Minority Report is a far-off fantasy? Well, you're criminally wrong. Algorithms are reportedly being used by law enforcement to anticipate wrongdoing. And worryingly, the system could be a little glitchy. So the next time you have an idle thought about lawbreaking, you best push it to the back of your mind in case the thought police show up. 6. 
video calling. Can you believe back in 1900 people were predicting Zoom, Teams, and the like? The World's Fair in Paris depicted the shocking sight of people being able to see each other whilst talking down the wires. This wasn't long after the telephone was invented in 1876. The first actual video call happened in 1927, which is still surprisingly early. It's an exciting technological development, one heavily based in science. For example, your brain will process an audio and an audiovisual experience differently. 5. The Metaverse Where did the name Metaverse come from? It actually landed via sci-fi, specifically a 1992 novel called Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Decades later, and we're all living in a digital landscape of avatars and crazy experiences. The 2020s saw Facebook embrace the idea of the metaverse, though it appears to have been overtaken by other developments in technology. 4. Antidepressants Aldous Huxley's highly influential sci-fi novel Brave New World was published in 1932. Among its predictions was that society would become drug-dependent in order to cope. Take a look around at the pill-popping culture and you can see Huxley knew what he was talking about. Of course, I am not saying antidepressants are a bad thing. 3. Gulliver on Mars The satellites, or moons, of Mars are Phobos and Deimos, and were discovered by astronomer Asaph Hall from America. Or were they? The writer of Gulliver's Travels, Jonathan Swift, talked about Martian satellites a century and a half earlier in the pages of his classic work. Amazingly, the author was just spitballing and just so happened to be right. 2. The Atomic Bomb Author H.G. Wells is regarded as one of the greats of science fiction, if not the greatest. He also managed to predict the coming of the atomic bomb. The World Set Free, published in 1914, depicts a uranium grenade dropped from the air to devastating effect. Weirdly, physicist Leo Szilard was an associate of Wells and would go on to work on the notorious Manhattan Project where the bomb was created. It was detonated in New Mexico in 1945, resulting in the world's first ever nuclear explosion. 1. AI Artificial intelligence has taken the world by surprise, even though we were warned about it through science fiction. Speaking on an old BBC documentary from the 60s, author Arthur C. Clarke mentioned the prospect of machines becoming cleverer than people. The early 80s saw experts such as Jeffrey Hinton bringing in ideas that formed the basis of AI. Clark didn't necessarily see this development in a negative light, but it sure would be interesting to get his take on the situation now. And that's it for our list of shocking science predictions coming true. Ready to have your mind blown all over again? Then you need to check out this video, which explores whether or not we're living in a simulation. The Matrix is real, people. <laughs> simulation or not, I'll be back soon with a fresh list. I and mean, it's a real movie.